Australia open to international students. Today's video update is regarding Australia, opening its border, to international students despite first Omicron death recorded. The international border of Australia will stay open, with no new restrictions despite Australia recording its first Omicron death, and a rapid rise in COVID-19 cases. Authorities abstained from executing new restrictions, declaring that, hospitalization rates remained little. Omicron, which health experts say seems more transmissible, but less infectious than previous coronavirus strains, started to spread just as Australia's international borders reopen, after locking up its border, since March 2020. Its case figures, on the other hand, have reached to the highest of the COVID-19 pandemic. After reporting 784 new cases with four people in hospital, Anastasia Palaszczuk, the Premier of Queensland stated that, even though we are observing intensified case numbers, we are not observing the impacts on our hospital system. Around the country, the increase in infections are weighing on examining resources. Sydney Testing Clinic, Sidpath had long established a day earlier that, it mistakenly told 400 COVID-positive individuals they were negative, in the days before Christmas, on Monday it now understood it sent incorrect result messages, to another 995 people. Please keep in mind that, the authorities have so far opposed shutting Australia's international borders, in the face of increasing case numbers, but have restored some domestic limitations. On Monday, New South Wales again made it obligatory to check into public venues, with QR codes, while many Australian states have brought back, mandatory mask wearing in indoor public places. You can get more information about arrivals, and quarantines, in the links mentioned below. Our video update ends here. We hope you found this update useful. Thanks for watching today's update.